Hi, and welcome to another episode of Pensacola Computers Presents. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our ViewSonic G tablet, and we are going to be showing how to flash it to Century Eyes, which is the latest alternate 1.2 base ROM for the G tablet, which is based on the Notion Inc. Atom firmware. First of all, we're starting with the latest version of the stock software from ViewSonic, version 4349, which was just pushed out over the air the other day, although they pulled it for a while. I'm not sure whether it's actually still back up, but this is what is recommended that you have before you attempt this in order to minimize the chance of soft bricking your device. Quick special note on this, thanks to Roby, who is now over at SlateDroid.com for making and putting out this incredible ROM and all the great work that he does. Uh, there are a couple of recommended prerequisites that I'm going to go over very quickly. Um, these are very important and it is highly recommended that you don't even attempt this unless you meet these prereqs. The first thing is set up and learn how to use NV Flash. You really need to know how to do NV Flash in case something bad happens. Um, if something bad happens a lot of times and you soft brick your device, the only way to get out of it is using NV Flash to flash your G tablet back to stock. Set up and learn how to use ADB. It's an Android tool that helps give you a remote shell into the device. It's very helpful to push and pull files to the device. Uh, important to do, okay? Third, have your device on the stock 1.2 base ROM baseline. For example, build 4349 is the latest 1.2 base stock ROM, okay? If you don't have this, you take a big risk of soft bricking your device. Okay, the first thing we're going to do after we've downloaded the Century Eyes RAR file to our computer, we're going to go ahead and extract the RAR file. And once that is extracted, we're going to go up to the folder and look inside the folder and we'll see we have a recovery and an update zip. We're going to go ahead and select those files and copy them. We're going to take that and we're going to go over and go to our G tablet, whatever drive that is, and we are going to paste that into the root of our G tablet. And it's done. Close it out. We'll go down and we'll make sure that we eject the device. Once it's safely safe to remove, we will go ahead and deactivate our USB transfer and then we can unplug our USB. Once we've got our files copied over, we're going to go ahead and power off our device. Once the device is powered off, we're going to reboot into recovery by pressing the power button and the volume up button at the same time. Once that's done, we will see that we re detected a recovery key and it's going to boot into the recovery kernel. Once it's booted into the recovery kernel, it is going to start applying the update zip. And if you want to see what's going on, you can go ahead and just press the home key and that will show you the progress as it goes along. And it's loading everything and it's installing the vanilla Atom system. And this doesn't really take that long to run. Uh, just be patient while it's going. Um, because pretty soon you're going to have a new experience on your G tablet. Once that's done, we're going to reboot the system and it will take a couple minutes for everything to run. Um, while it is rebooting, a couple things about Century Eyes. Uh, Century Eyes adds the following features it's rooted with BusyBox added, uh, G apps, ad hoc networking support, Flash Player on new installs. Dot config file added for the Ethernet port. Improved battery life by the removal of the phone APKs. YouTube and Home Switcher APKs added. And live wallpapers have been added. One thing of note, as it's rebooting, if for some reason it gets stuck, and once again, be patient, uh, if it does get stuck, what you're going to want to do is reboot into recovery one more time and wipe the data factory reset and then reboot. And with a little bit of patience, we see we have booted into our G tablet. Uh, one. Okay, now that we're up and running, there are a couple quick little tips. Uh, one, we see we have this status bar up near the top. And if you click on the upper left, there you can minimize it and bring it back. Another little trick is if you click 
near the top on the clock. Sometimes you have to do it, you will see you get the nice icon drawer UI. And to get rid of that, you just go back and click on the bottom to bring it back. Uh, if you do a long hold on the home button, it will bring you to the panel view, which is pretty cool. You can scroll through all the panels. Uh, thanks again for to Robeat for pushing this out today. I know we spent a lot of time, and you know what? It is fun. Uh, we definitely enjoy having the fun that uh, Robeat provides us with all these new ROMs. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this and other Pensacola Computers Presents. Make sure you check out the thread on SlateDroid.com and check out the latest ROMs that Robeat is pushing out for us.